What's up, everybody? It's Adam, aka The Real Sim. So, coming back with episode five of our Digimon X playthrough, I gotta say it's been an absolute blast. And today we've got some incredible ultimate Digimon that I can't wait to show off. We've also got a couple of upsets, and I can't wait for you to see what that is. Now, this has been a community play along, and I've had a lot of folks hatching along with me, and it's been an absolute blast. And if you're wanting to get in on the action, you know how. You can email me at therealsimso at gmail.com or find me on Instagram. Just shoot me either a video or a picture of you and your Digimon and a little intro, and that'd be awesome. And the next episode, we're gonna do me versus you so if you've got an acom or a wi-fi com and you want to send me a digirom to battle against please feel free to i don't even care if it is a, a digimon x if you just want to play along and have a fight with me send in one of the old school digimon codes and we'll fight against that and for every episode that y'all have participated in i'm going to be including an extra entry into an as maria device giveaway those just came out recently check these things out how freaking cool are they i know you want to win one so like i said if you participated uh, you're going to get an extra entry in and if you want to play along next episode you'll also get an entry in for that one and you're definitely going to want to subscribe for whenever that video drops so that way you can get in on the action. Now, let's go check out these Ultimate Digimon. Our Mammothmon X evolved into Rosemon X. And our Mame Tyramon ended up evolving into Rahimon. Sadly, our Chromon returned back to its Digitama form. I'm really not super sure what happened here. I know it got several Kara mistakes, but other than that, I uh, don't know why it didn't reach its next evolution. I was actually expecting something else. Now let's check out a couple of close-ups on Rosemon X and Rahimon. Oh no, oh no, the audio's out. Boss ain't gonna like this. Uh, boss, boss, we got a problem. The mic was off for part of the video. There's no sound. All right, all right, folks. Here's the scoop. Our buddy here, uh, what's his name again? Oh, right, Chromon. Uh, he died. And our pal Simso wasn't sure why. But don't worry. Now, he did some digging and made sure Rydemon and Rosemon X still have evolutions. He found out that the old Rydemon, you know, the armored-looking tough guy, well, guess what? He could evolve into nothing other than the baddest of the bad, Beelzemon. Beelzemon? That's one of the coolest Digimon ever! Yeah, yeah, Gazimon. Now, don't get too starstruck, but here's the kicker, folks. It ain't easy. To get that slick evolution, it's gonna take 200 wins. 200 wins? That's a lot of battles, boss. Oh yeah, but that's the price of greatness. And if our friend here pulls it off, it's gonna be legendary. So sit tight and root for Rahimon. Cause if he wins this next match, you better believe we're shooting for that BLZBmon evolution. And with me narrating this, you know it's gonna be one wild ride. Yeah, you heard the boss. This is gonna be epic. That's right, baby. And remember, when in doubt, just let Animon do the talking. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, here we go. We're gonna have Rosemon X fight Rahimon. Man, check out those close-ups. Those are so freaking cool. Nice, Rahimon with the win. I just could not keep my hands on these devices for some reason.
Nice, we're high on wins, so I guess we are gonna shoot for that Beelzemon. So that's gonna be 200 wins. I can't wait, let's do this. Now, unbeknownst to Rosemon X and Rahimon, I had an Alphamon all along waiting to battle these two. Check this out. I'm super stoked I was able to get my hands on one of the X3 devices. I've been running this guy in the background just for fun and got Alphamon and thought it would be great to go ahead and put him against these two. So let's do it. First up, Alphamon versus Rahimon. Nice close up, Rahimon. Dang, Alphamon took him out. Took him out. Nice. Now let's put Alphamon up against Rosemon X. Oh, sweet. We got the Alphamon close up. Check that out. What a cool close up. Nice fight, Rosemon X. That is awesome. Check out that Alphamon sprite. That is just such a cool sprite. I, I love the way this guy looks. The fate of the digital world hangs by a thread as the Royal Knights and an army of Digimon face off against their greatest threat yet. Let's go back in time a little bit and catch up with Omegamon X, Alphamon, Oreomon while they had disappeared. After vanishing from history, they quietly traveled the three realms of the new digital world alongside Koda and Yuji. Their mission? To ensure that no Digimon with the X antibody ever faces discrimination again. They circled the new digital world, reaching the hearts of countless Digimon, spreading hope and unity. But when they sensed a dark disturbance from the dark area, they knew something terrible was brewing, and so they rallied a massive army of Digimon, preparing for battle. Led by Koda, they declared, Let's go save them. We won't lose anyone. Not in the new digital world or the old. Together, we'll open the way to the future. Even the three great angels from the Colonel itself joined the cause. They left Seraphimon behind to protect the Colonel and charged toward the old digital world with Coda's army. On the battlefield, the Royal Knights were already making headway. Lord Nightmon X and Leopardmon X took down Barbamon X, while Dark Nightmon X, realizing he couldn't win, slinked away into the shadows. Things were looking up for the Royal Knights. Ulforce Vidramon X delivered a final blow to Creepymon X, while Magnamon X and Dinosmon X teamed up to send Beelzemon X packing. The seven deadly Digimon were being driven back, but just when it seemed the tide was turning, the defeated seven Demon Lords were suddenly pulled into the gate of the Dark Area. The Royal Knights realized the greatest threat still awaited them. Something big was coming. Deep within the Dark Area, Lusamon X's plan was coming to fruition. Karamon X digivolved into Diaboramon X, splitting into seven copies. But that wasn't all. Each Diaboramon X clone absorbed the power of the seven Demon Lords. And then Lusamon X himself was absorbed into one of the clones, making them more powerful than ever. These seven Diaboramon X copies rose from the depths of the Dark Area and emerged before the Royal Knights, who were now staring down the most terrifying force they had ever encountered. The Royal Knights were exhausted from their earlier battles. Jessmon X watched over the still recovering Gankumon X, while Alphamon initiated a blast digivolution with Oryumon to become Alphamon Oryukin. The Knights knew they had to act fast. Together, Alphamon Oryukin, Omegamon X, Gallantmon X, and the newly recovered Gankumon X launched a full scale attack on the Diaboramon X clones, putting them on the defensive. But before long, the Diabormon X clones merged into one massive, terrifying Digimon, Ogudomon X, the ultimate darkness. With its arrival, the world itself began to collapse. Ogudomon X's power was so immense that the entire digital world began to crumble. Its mere existence threatened to obliterate both the old and new digital worlds. This was the fight for their survival. Despite their best efforts, even the mightiest Royal Knights Omegamon X, Gallimon X, and Alphamon Oryukin were struck down by Ogudamon X. The darkness seemed unstoppable. In a moment of pure courage, Gankumon X made a final decision. He passed on his power as a Royal Knight to his disciple, Jessmon X. With the power of the X antibody coursing through him, Jessmon X transcended into a new form, Jessmon GX. 
Jesmon GX stood tall. Now empowered with the might of the Royal Knights, he launched a full attack on Ogudamon X. But the battle wasn't over. Ogudamon X's darkness still overwhelmed even Jesmon GX, until the other Royal Knights rose again. The defeated Royal Knights extended their power to Jesmon GX. With their combined strength, Jesmon GX unleashed his ultimate move, Knight's Intruder. You're finished. With a mighty strike, Jesmon GX cleaved Ogudamon X in two, vanquishing the darkness and saving the digital world. With Ogudamon X defeated, peace returned to the digital world. Yggdrasil accepted the wish of the Battle Royale's victor and removed the barriers between the old and new digital worlds. Now Digimon could travel freely between realms. Koda and Yuji promised to expand the digital world storage capacity from the real world, ensuring its future. They bid farewell to the Royal Knights, having saved the digital world once again. And so, thanks to the bravery of Koda, Yuji, Jesmon X, and the rest of the Royal Knights, a new era of peace and unity began in the digital world. Thanks for everyone that's been participating in this playthrough. It's been an absolute blast. Y'all have raised some incredible Digimon. Let's check out a couple of more. We've got an update from Tamamoth on Instagram with this Platinum Numamon. And check out that Nino's awesome Numamon cosplay. I love that. And check this out, Tamamoth also was able to get a Jessmon. That is such an awesome sprite, absolutely love it. And Tamamoth also was able to send in some codes, so I'll be able to battle both of these in the next episode. And our pal Johan was able to pull it off. They were able to get the Omegamon X, check that out, how awesome. And our pal Marsu's Tamers on Instagram was also able to get a Metallic Dramon, how awesome is that? And check out those pin C's in the background. I'm only a couple more weeks, hopefully, before Zen and Chips are out. I cannot wait for Wave 2. And we had somebody new join us for this episode as well. This is Roy Ponce. Check out these awesome shells here. I love this. That Agumon X close-up is so cool. And the Asmaria shell, just gorgeous. And things wouldn't be complete without our friend Wario Digifarm. Check out that Metal Greymon X. I'll be battling that guy live in the next episode, and I cannot wait for y'all to see it. And then my pal Corey decided to join in on the hatch as well. Check this out. Starting from the Digitama phase all the way into Tokemon, and then Gabumon X, and now we've got Metal Garurumon X. Nice hatching, buddy. Nice taming. Well, there we have it, folks. It looks like our Rahimon is going to try to evolve into Beelzebub. We'll see if I'm able to make it. That's 200 wins. It's quite a bit. And uh, on the other hand, our Rosemon, I'm not super sure what we'll get. We're just going to let it live that life of luxury. So there's not going to be any care mistakes. I'm also not going to put it through the tournament or train it anymore. And then with Alphamon, I know there's an evolution. I don't know what it is. I might have to look into it and see. I'd love to get him up into that next stage, though. Either way, I hope everyone's having a great time with their Digimon. And I hope you're getting out and enjoying an adventure on your own. I'm really looking forward to the next episode it's going to be me versus all of you it's going to be a blast i can't wait i even ordered a box of the digimon x antibody it's bt09 the trading card game to open so every time i win i'll open one of those packs maybe we'll get some cool stuff and i'll be able to play an x antibody deck how awesome would that be either way i'm stoked i cannot wait and i will see you all next time don't forget if you want to participate you've got a couple of weeks to go ahead and send me a code to battle against you you're welcome to send me any code you want i would prefer to be a Digimon X, but if you've got something else and you want to play along, just send me one of the old Digimon codes. That's totally cool with me. All I ask is that you either send me a picture with the Digimon name and your name, either that, or if you could do an intro video, that would be super awesome, but it's not a requirement at all. I know not everybody's wanting to get in front of a camera. So either way, like I said, I can't wait and we'll see everybody next time.